welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. This happened. Um, I dyed my hair. Things are changing up here in isolation. We enjoy that. Today, I thought, what better thing to do than to turn myself even more into Rogue because why not? Now, if you haven't watched the X-Men films, which is Anna Paquin as Rogue, which is how my hair is, that's her Rogue, she doesn't really wear makeup. However, Rogue in X-Men Evolution, which is the animated TV series where she has short hair and her hair is slightly whiter at the front, she does wear makeup. It's a very like bluey, purpley kind of like mystical thing. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. And also at the same time, I'm gonna talk about some Marvel things that I know you guys probably care about, maybe care about if you don't. Hello. So first, let us start with the obvious thing. Why is Rogue one of my favorite Marvel characters? Now, I love the whole concept of her. I really enjoy the fact that her power is being able to, you know, use other people's powers. I love the fact that she kind of, you know, inhabited the brain of Captain Marvel, becoming one of the strongest um, Marvel characters, there you go, um, at one time. And I just, I just love her. Like, she's just everything. And it does help that Anna Paquin played her in X-Men because Anna Paquin is one of my favorite actresses. I absolutely love True Blood, if you if you didn't know. I like the way they kept in quite a lot of her storyline in the X-Men films. Um, I would like to see her in the new ones. I know she was in Days of Future Past, but like, you know. Um, but I would like to see her kind of rock up a bit more in some future ones. I will say Rogue is probably my favorite female superhero. And then obviously Winter Soldier is my favorite male superhero, even though a lot of people are like, he's not a super, shut up. He is not a villain anymore. He was in Winter Soldier, I accept that. But everything else, no, he is not a villain. He is used as a weapon. He is quite literally just a weapon, right? You know, so yeah. That actually brings me on to why I love the Winter Soldier, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, Winter Soldier, like, why is that your favorite? There's just so much to his character. There is so, so much. And I know that the way he's portrayed in the comics is slightly different to the way, well, very different to the way he's portrayed in the films. I understand that. I appreciate that. Doesn't stop me from absolutely loving him for everything that he does, okay? The reason why I love Winter Soldier so much is because of his storyline, specifically in the film, the way they've portrayed him, the way they've shown him go through so much pain, so much confusion. And yes, that is also because Sebastian Stan is that great actor that can, you know, act through his eyes. But it's just something about... I don't know, just something about his story. It's the same with, like, Kylo Ren from Star Wars. There's so much to the character that's so deep that you can get into why the character does what they do, like what their motives are, like all that kind of stuff. So I just really, really appreciate Winter Soldier. Falcon and Winter Soldier TV series. I had a lot of people asking me if I was mad because Falcon got the shield, but you know, Bucky doesn't want it. You know, I've said this before, Bucky doesn't want that shield. He doesn't feel like he deserves that shield. And that's why I think the series is going to be so interesting because neither does Falcon. Like they both are like, I don't want this, hun. Like I'm good. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know what, how am I meant to take up this mantle, and so it's going to be very interesting seeing that dynamic and seeing them both kind of like helping each other find who they are. It'd be cool if they like both shared it. You know, they're going to both use the shield at some point in the series, but it just, I just I love me some Winter Soldier. Okay. If you didn't know, Bucky Barnes is actually on my name tag. Oh, actually, that reminds me of my Disney store stories. I was going to say. We'll start off with the annoying one. So, I work in the Disney store. It is my job to know what we sell, you know, like, so I can help a guest. So I, if you come into the store and you're like, hey, I need to find this thing, I can be like, oh, sure, here you go. Or I can suggest stuff to you, or I can talk to you about things and I can deliver fun facts. That is my job, okay? That is what I do. Therefore, I know things. And also, <laughs> if you didn't notice, I like Marvel. So I, I have that knowledge under my belt already before I even started working at Disney. I knew about Marvel because I've been watching the MCU f since Iron Man and, you know, okay, I don't know everything about the comics. But if you didn't know, Disney mainly sells cinematic universe stuff, not comic stuff. So I know my fair share of MCU facts. And as we both know at this point, Bucky Barnes is my favorite character. He's on my name tag, okay? All you have to do is look at my name tag. You can see, hey, she has a Marvel character as her favorite Disney character. These two gentlemen come into the store and they are looking for Batman stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, sorry, we don't sell Batman stuff, that's DC, not Marvel, Disney owns Marvel, blah, 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 the whole spiel on that. 
this guy then proceeds to be like, oh, well, do you know where I can get like an adult Batman costume? And I was like, not, not, not anywhere near here. Maybe, maybe online. I was giving them all the knowledge that they needed as to where they could go to find a Batman suit. I help these guests as best as I can. And I start suggesting like, you know, other Marvel characters being like, oh, you know, we don't have Batman, but we do have Iron Man or we don't have um, Batman, but we have Captain America, you know, that kind of stuff. And the guy who asked about the costume kind of, you know, goes a bit quiet and like is ready to be like, okay, no worries, bye. And then his friend turns to me and goes, so who's your favorite Marvel character? Barbie. Don't say that to someone that's just told you a lot of things about Marvel. I actually shared a quite a few fun facts with this person about Marvel as well. And I looked at him and I was like, no, actually it's the Winter Soldier. This guy proceeded to say, who? <laughs> now I'm not saying, I'm not saying you need to know who every single Marvel character is. That's not how it works, okay? I get that. But what annoyed me was the fact that he was all like, yeah, I know my Marvel and then didn't know who Winter Soldier was. When last time I checked, the second Captain America movie was entitled The Winter Soldier. <laughs> anyway, this guy is like mildly mad um, because it wasn't Barbie and he thought he could get me. It just wasn't funny. It just wasn't funny. Anyway, we go on to the second story, which made me slightly uncomfortable for reasons that weren't necessarily to do with the Marvel side of things. They were to do with the fact the guy then asked me out and I was like, mm -hmm, I'm sorry, but no, like, I'm at work, this makes me uncomfortable, goodbye. Also don't ask people out at work, okay? Because you can leave, the person working can't. It is also their job to be nice to you. So anyway, this guy comes up to me and he's asking, um, he actually was very nice. He actually came over and he was like, hey, I'm looking for DC stuff. I know you guys don't sell it, but is there anywhere near here that will? And like, I know I directed him to the best things I could. And then he proceeded to be like, hey, do you prefer DC or Marvel? And I said, oh, well, I prefer Marvel. Um, just because, I don't know, I just prefer the films. I think they're better. I know people will disagree, but I just personally enjoy them much more. As physical films, not superhero films, just films in general, I just think they're better films. Um, there's just more to them and I enjoy the sound of them. We all know I like sound and like all that kind of stuff. He then looked at me and said, I've got a skill. I can usually tell what a woman's favorite superhero is just by looking at them. So this man looks at me and he goes, Captain America. To quite a few people that I have met in my life, they believe that any woman who likes Marvel, like Marvel because of the actors in it. I just went on to say, no, not him. He then said Thor, I said, no. He then listed every single male superhero that he could, that, like going progressively down in attractiveness as you would. And then he was like, Black Widow? And I was like, no. He's like, Captain Marvel? And I was like, no. He was like, it wouldn't be Vision, would it? No. And I was like, I mean, it could be, but no. And he's like, I don't know then. And I look at him and I go, it's Winter Soldier. And he was just like, oh, okay. Which is then why he proceeded to ask me out because he was like, oh my God, this girl actually knows what she's talking about. <laughs> um, why did this turn into a rant video? I don't know what's happening. I mean, this is looking lit. Let's talk about Endgame. I do love the entire last half an hour okay that is amazing like the fights everything like everything about the last half an hour beautiful stunning yes i have recently thought about it more <laughs> and after watching it for the third time i was like you know what this film is just annoying and i realized it's because quite literally that film is fan service and it's just annoying it's just annoying because there are so many things they could have done and there are so many things that they did do in previous films and then completely ignored like the whole thing that Thor didn't need a weapon and that actually that was Infinity War. And also the whole thing with Hulk and like, I don't know, there were just so many moments that were very much fan service instead of was this actually the right way the plot should have gone. Also the gay character, <laughs> pointless, pointless, beyond belief pointless. Like I'd have rather them just not had him in it at all. Like they just didn't need to do that. They just didn't. I feel like I'm going against anything I would have said previously, but I just, the more you think about it, like meh. If I watch a film and the more I think about it, the more I hate it, this happened with Greatest Showman, just saying, then that just shows that it doesn't stand the test of multiple watches and you know, I'm not a fan. But then again, I will happily watch it again for the last half an hour because that fight scene, 
unstoppable. I watched it opening night and I have never witnessed something so beautiful. And also when everyone came through the portals, that was just so good. All the music in that film, stunning. I listened to the soundtrack to that film on repeat for about three months, probably. That and Game of Thrones, the last series, I was just listening to those two soundtracks on repeat because stunning. One thing I do want to touch on actually before people start attacking me, I know I said like earlier about the stories of the guys in the Disney store. This is a common occurrence. People don't believe that I know my knowledge because I am female, 100%. I have seen people go up to my male colleagues and they're just like talking through it. And it just, it's an, it's annoying to me because it's just kind of like, why wouldn't I know this stuff? Like if, I don't know, it's my job to know this stuff. So of course I'm gonna know this stuff. And I'm, I don't, I don't know. It just, and I'm not saying it's everyone, obviously. There are nice people out there. I had a lovely conversation with someone that I was working with um, on a film. Um, and he was our main actor. And if he, for any reason, is watching this, he's a legend and I love him. Anyway, we were talking about Marvel and I said that my favourite character was Winter Soldier and he just was like, respect. And then we fist bumped and we just had a conversation about how good Winter Soldier is. That's how you do it, mate. That's how you do it. Another question I always get asked is, what is my favourite Marvel film uh slash ranking all of the marvel films i will do a whole video on that at some point i'm sure of me actually like you know ranking them as like what i love and then what i don't love as much but as of right now my favorite marvel film is probably winter soldier just because that fight scene is everything it isn't even because it's winter soldier like that helps but that's not the reason, okay? I just adore that fight scene. I think it's one of the best in cinematic history. You wanna know why? Because it is hand fighting, okay? And that's super hard to choreograph in itself. Also because so much of it was physical. Like it was not CGI most of the time. It was genuinely them fighting. I thought that was very cool. Um, so that's probably like, you know, my favorite. I also really love Civil War. I know people do not, um, but I just, something about all of them coming together and the fight scenes and just everything i really enjoy um infinity war as i said is one of my favorite films of all time that's mainly due to um everything that makes it up it's not necessarily just the plot or the fact it's a superhero film it's more so like the fact it's kind of like an opera in a sense of the music and the way it flows i just think it's a, a great film um as films go and it just inspires me and Honestly, if you haven't listened to the soundtracks for the last few Marvel films, please go and do it because it will change your life. It is like, why is this eye so much better than this eye? Why does this always happen? Another Marvel film I really, really enjoy is Spider-Man Far From Home. I have watched that film numerous times. I recently watched it in IMAX because Cineworld in Leicester Square was doing like an IMAX festival where you could go and see films that had come out the year before in IMAX for like three pounds. So I went to see Far From Home with Tyler and we were both just like, this film it honestly is one of my favorite um, marvel films i think again it is the sound of it um like the little toothbrush going clack in his mouth if you know you know um but i just i really like that film i also love the fights i love the effects that are used for it i just really like it what other films do i like obviously iron man the original is great like great um i also i'm not gonna lie i'm a fan of dark phoenix i know it's not an mcu film but it's still a marvel film and i'm a fan of it and i know people absolutely hate the new x-men series but i kind of like it the first three films were a bit like oh, okay but apocalypse i enjoyed mainly for the visuals uh, for example when the train is like crushed that was everything um and also you know the sound <laughs> i'm a sound student well i like to think i am but there you go hello she's back i put my lashes on I'm now gonna put foundation on my face tonight imagine me gown and all fetchingly draped against the wall what other marvel things are we gonna talk about ah uh, i know if i had to have a superpower what superpower would it be now my answer to this has and probably will always be telekinesis because i think it's the coolest thing to be able to move things with your mind um also if you have gene gray powers you know <laughs> you can also read minds which i think is really cool obviously i'd want some control over that otherwise <laughs> oof but you know I think I think that's a cool thing, but mainly telekinesis because I want to be like Matilda, you know. Hey, I literally can change my face like a chameleon. Why does my face do that so aggressively? Like, can it chill? But yeah, telekinesis definitely would be like my top superpower. I'd also like to fly, but if I have telekinesis, I can make myself fly because I can like use it on myself, you know, which would be pretty cool. 
You know that rhyme that goes one, two, skip a few, 99, 100? I feel like that's what's happening right now. Like I did my eyes for ages and now I'm just like, poof. Look, my whole face is done. Instead of boring you guys on how I do my lipstick, um, I'm just gonna do it and, th and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, cool. See you in a bit. Here is the finished look. That is, that is today's video. <laughs> Me painting my face and going on a rant about Marvel. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoyed painting my face because I haven't done it in a while and I'm not gonna lie, but I'm living for this look. Like, hell yeah. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to carry on watching this face, I do Disney videos, theme park videos, apparently makeup videos, and anything else that comes into my head videos, then please do not forget to subscribe just there, and then just here will be a link to a recommended video. But until next time, bye! This is actually a look. <laughs>